Well, as I always start out, it's November the 24th, 2024, and here she is. 99.9% .9 complete. There's always that point one that allows me to keep tinkering with it, you know. Um, I used a very vintage 5 wythe 4 in it. Excuse me, 5V4. You can see right there, Jan 5V4. Uh, the difference between it and uh, uh, and this right here is 15 volts. This one gives me uh, 390. This one gives me 375. That's its uh, voltage. Okay, I'll tell you a couple of things I did. I set the um, the plate current to 60 milliamps, and if you do 60 milliamps. Here, let me show you. I don't want to get too too into the math here, but 0.06 that's 60 milliamps at uh, uh, 375 volts. That gives me 22 and a half watts of plate dissipation. I think the maximum is 30. So I like to I like to keep it up there, but it's not very hot. Here you can actually see the temperature right here. It's been on for a while. You see that? 230, 240 degrees. I mean, that's pretty normal. When you're up there at 450, that's hot. But it's, it's, it's not hot. Uh, I checked all the tubes. Got a bunch of these 807s. I'll show you one in here. Amazing how strong they are. Let's see, the minimum for an 807 is... Um, 48. And look what these things measure. 68. You see that? Very strong. And this one is the one I showed in the other video. Made in 1956. So, uh, this is the equipment I use to record the music. This camera is a lot higher resolution, and, but it doesn't focus as fast as this camera. This is a little Sony. The one I'm using here is, a, is made by Leica. And then this is the audio uh, thing that I use so that we're not using the, the microphones out of this. I'm, I know this is better. Anyway, that's what I record the music with. Well, let, let, let me make this kind of quick. Let me, let me get to the point here. Um, running it at 2 watts right there. This is 2 kilohertz. THD is 1.44. But here's something that amazes me. This is, uh, like I say, 2 kilohertz. Let's go to 200 hertz. There it is at 200. I think you can see that. 200 hertz. 1.47. You know, I got a lot of glare. Got to be careful. There's our 2 watts. And look at this. 20 hertz. Takes the equipment a second to kind of catch up. Look at that. Can you see that? 20 hertz. <laughs> 20 hertz. Power is the same. I'll show you in dB in a minute. Distortion, THD. 20 hertz. That right there speaks really well to that output transformer. I'm amazed. And then let's go to 20 kilohertz. Push this button. There's 20 kilohertz. 1.7 watts. There's our 20. Here's our THD. Really quite impressed. Now, see, this little meter is kind of neat. See, I got it in right there where it says PO, that's power. I press it in again. There we say dB. Okay, there's its uh, decibel output, a relative number at uh, 20 kilohertz, uh, call it 32.3, there it is at uh, 2 kilohertz, 33, wait a minute, excuse me, 32.3, 33, so it's down 0.7 dB up there at 20 kilohertz, there it is at 2 kilohertz, here it is at 200 hertz, didn't drop a bit, did it? 200 hertz. Let's go back to uh, 2 kilohertz. 
just drop one bit between there. Let's go back to 200 hertz. Let's go to 20 hertz. Remember, our, our mid frequency is at 33, and it uh, it's actually got a little bit of it's down about 0.7 dB. That's amazing. That is amazing. What are we looking at here? 20 hertz? Well, you can't quite figure it out. It's The scope is weird. It's, it's a cool scope. But, um... There you go. Anyway, okay, harmonic profile. There it is. There's 2 kilohertz. There, it's got its second harmonic. I mean, that's that's the way uh, SC amplifiers are going to be. That grand second harmonic that apparently we love. Let's see, that's 2 kilohertz. Uh, let's go to 20 kilohertz. I don't know if we're gonna be, what we're going to be able to see up here. Did I even go there? No, it's the wrong, <laughs> the wrong one. Let's go 20 kilohertz. Let's see if we can see this now. We've got to go up here to... Five per division and 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 20. Okay, here I'll, I don't need to set it right on there. You know, this is 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So there's a second harmonic right there at 20 kilohertz. We don't want to do it at 20 hertz because the sweep on these this is called a swept tune type. Um, spectrum analyzer and it becomes so slow you have to turn it down to like um, what is this thing you have to turn it down to like 50 or 60 seconds per division it, it just, it's just it's just painfully slow so we won't do that that's the that's our our 20 kilohertz and there it is no, I think it sounds great. It actually sounds better than my uh, than my 300B. Well, I, my 300B, I use it. I was cheap. I used a choke as a plate load because I didn't think it made any difference, but it does. Real SCT transformers make a real difference. So there you go. I cheated the system, and yeah, well, I like it. This one's this one this one doesn't tire me. I'm really quite amazed. Oh yeah, we got to look under it. Got to look under it. Turn it off. Kind of pull this out. Boy, these things are tight. That switchcraft <coughs> plug right there is, is something to behold. Let's unplug it. Now I've gotten this far. I don't want to electrocute myself. Uh, this is underneath it. I used uh, some vintage capacitors. I promise you, I checked them very seriously. Look at there. There's a vintage one. There's a vintage one. Of course, these electrolytics are new, as they should be. Uh, I think you've seen most of this. There's a power supply up here in this end of the of it. Uh, I did tinker with. I, I checked it. I didn't want to bore you with all of the. I wanted to make sure that I got the uh, the hum uh, at a minimum, but and the hum was at a minimum by grounding the center tap. Sometimes it's by grounding the center tap. Sometimes it's by grounding one side or the other. You just have to kind of test it. So it's got the IEC plug with a ground on the safety ground. Now, I hope this doesn't make anybody scream. But you see that right there? That is three decibels, three dB of NFB. It does have three dB of negative feedback. And that made it a lot better. Without it, the frequency response, the power and the frequency response is just atrocious. And that's actually true with push-pull amplifiers too. You got to have a little bit. This is only 3 dB. Most uh, vacuum tube amplifiers run about 16 dB. And uh, solid state amps, I don't even know how much they run. They can run a whole lot. I don't even want to say 
See, there's its output. If you use the IEC connect, these things are worth the trouble because you don't have to drag your uh, drag it around. The paint turned out okay. See, I got a little run there. Got to show you the defects. Seems like it wants to scratch kind of easy, so I've already got little teeny tiny scratches all over it. So it's very simple. Input. I don't even think I'm going to label it. I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? That's that's the input. That's the volume. That's the on-off switch. It's about as simple as it can get. AC input, fuse, and speaker. I just don't see the point in uh, in labeling it. And for those that are uh, new to watching all of my crazy channels, it's hard to it's hard to work with one hand. You know, I put all this stuff into these big R call. These are uh, low inductance, zero inductance, basically as low as you can get. Very low. Uh, they stay at 8 ohms whether they're hot or cold. They're 1%. They're, uh, they're very, very good. They're worth, they're worth the, they're only like 50 or 60 bucks a piece. So they're actually worth it. And it comes down, you know, here. This is what I hook across the channels. Of course, we only got one channel here. And then I tap it off right here. If it's stereo, I can go left to right here. And it comes over to this little breakout box. This little breakout box feeds everything at one time. I was trying to make this thing do a signal to noise ratio thing, but I can't remember how to make it work. Maybe I'll do that another time and, and show you guys. But that's pretty much it. I think that's the project. I am very, very pleased with it. As a matter of fact, I've been playing it uh, in place of this one. This one's on right now because the, the, the tuner's on. But I'm going to pull this one out and uh, and put the uh, put the other one in. It, it sounds absolutely stunning. Sure does. Thanks for all your comments and uh, involvement and suggestions. And you guys are great, wonderful bunch. I, I very much appreciate you. I don't know of any other amplifiers I want to build be building right now. You know, I don't. I don't think this is going to be my last one. I hope not. Not unless uh, you know my wife comes and gets me. And if she does, well, I guess that'll uh, that'll be fine. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Stay safe.